Just did a quick booth update with Arsenal Kvar with our buddy Walker English who actually smiled for a change. After I saw his smile, I advised him it's probably best he stay straight faced. What do you think? T and Pierre we just ran into. I, I think he did a great job. Yeah. And I think you asked all the right questions. And being a California T and Pierre, I'm yeah. here to say I'm very excited about uh, these guys paying a little respect to us Californians. Amen. Because we're coming back. It sounds like they spent some some money on making that California DOJ approved AK the SGLs and the 410 that you saw on the board there. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So I'm stoked to see that for our Californians. And what I really like is that they're sending out a coupon for if and when we get it overturned. Exactly, yeah, that's thinking ahead. And I think more manufacturers need to do that. These guys are, are definitely ahead of the curve on that. Excellent, and if you guys don't know what, you, uh, what I'm talking about, look for the booth review, SHOT 2011 TMP, and we'll cover the details. It's a coupon to retrofit the magazine release so you don't need a key. Exactly. I think that's what I heard. There exactly. might be some other things. Yeah, exactly. All right, cool. That's what I heard too. So I've been following TMP for a while? For a while, yeah. I've turned, okay. turned, turned, turned you on to a lot of folks in California. Okay, See, we cool. haven't given up hope yet. Good for you. And, you should. And just this week, fight, the, fight, uh, fight. Yeah, the uh, ammo ban, essentially a ban, that was overturned. So I don't know if you heard yeah, that. Yeah, AB 262 is now yeah. null and void. Yes. I made a video on that and slammed it. And I'll tell you, when I made that video, we generated about 750 letters within 36 hours cool. to the state of California. Unfortunately, it didn't prevent the passage, but what, it's a constant push. A lot of these legislative issues are a constant push, and we're using all the legal means to at our disposal. As well we must. Yeah, yes. and the NRA can be thanked for that too, because yep. they throw a lot of money towards that there's, stuff to overrule it. There's a real grassroots movement in California now. People are getting fed up with it. Amen. Yep. Guys like you, yep. solid citizens, yep. freedom lovers. Exactly. Poor Californians, man. But maybe we won't be saying that forever. It's it's the the brutal minority that's causing all the problems. So it is. And people just are fed up, and I think I think you're going to see a lot of changes in the state in the state now. Positive changes. Awesome. Are you an NRA member? You betcha. Awesome. Very well done. All right, I've been asking everybody on this uh, roll of uh, TMP here. This is tongue in cheek. What do you hate most about TMP? I think uh, I think there should be a, a grooming policy for TMP. That's a, what. a grooming <laughs> policy. I wonder what he's talking about. Huh? Could it be this? Yeah, maybe. All right, we're gonna work on that. I appreciate that input. Yeah. No, what do you like? It. What do you like best about it? That, that it comes from the heart. Amen. Yeah, that's, you it is from the heart. Your independence yeah. and your objectivity. You do. So we Amen. That. It's it's as true as I can make it, and uh, I haven't changed. You know, some guys say, "Well, DMP, you know, it's so big. You think you're in for this? I ain't doing it for the money. <laughs> I lose money doing TMP, even with the ad revenue. It's a huge money loser for me. But it sure is fun. It's a lot of work, and it connects me with great people like you. Well, and you do so much of the homework for us. We appreciate it. That's Thanks. Saves, saves all of us a lot. Of Thanks. Time. I've made a lot of gear mistakes in my life, and if I can pass that on in the tabletop review and say, "Hey, you know." Uh, watch out for this when you're in, you know, outfitting a system like this. Let's say we're say uh, talking urban survival kit. Here's some stuff to think about. Yeah. It's not the only way. There's other ways to do exactly. it. It's just you know, data point, baby. I got I got started with you on the uh, on the carry, on the fanny pack, the custom your own you know custom. Uh, oh fanny yeah. Pack. That was the first vid that I, I ran yeah. across, and that's. Oh, you've been with the project a while. Yeah, been then. a while. Yeah. yeah. Good for yeah. you. Yeah, he was waiting patiently as Walker and I. Where's Walker? He's he's gone. We did a little quick booth review with him, but so that was cool. Thanks for saying hello. Uh, do you want the world to know your first name? Uh, Ed. Ed. All right. Uh, by the way, he's a pilot. Do you mind if I tell him that? No, that's fine. He's a pilot. Yeah. A commercial, civilian. What do you do? Fixed rotary, rotary, multi instrument. Awesome. Pretty much all of it, except for lighter than air. Excellent. Well, I sure appreciate meeting you. Super stud. It's a pleasure. Thanks so much. Keep Thanks a, a lot. Work. This is TMP right here. You've seen them. This is a good cross section. You're We're out there, shot. man. We're out there behind you. I appreciate you. Thanks. See it. Down in the tactical section, Shot Show 2011, another TMP here. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Good, great to be here. Uh, one of the things I love about Nothing Fancy, they're brutally honest. You don't get any sugar coating. It is what it is, and yeah. that's what everyone really needs when it comes down to it. Right. Um, as far as the, the wide range of stuff we cover, it's incredible. Yeah. But that can almost be a little bit too much. It overwhelms some people, it doesn't be, it? Can be. And when guys come into the Nothing Fancy project for the first time, 
and they're like, wow, I kind of like this video. Maybe they found me through Google, a knife review, maybe a tactical item. Then they see the, the amount of videos, they're like, dude. It's insane. <laughs> I, I got, got a lot of catching up to my do. My first vids were probably tents. Oh yeah, really? Yeah. How cool is that? Because you know, my tent views are very low. I do a tent review and compared to my other vids, not overly popular. Right. But I still do them because I like them and I want the information out there. Yeah, that's what got me started. I'm hooked now. Awesome. So, what tent did you go with, bro? I you know? went with, I just bought a new one here at the show. Did you? Yeah. What is it? Uh, I, do you have it? Let's take a look, man. TMP are at the SHOT Show 2011. I love meeting you guys. We saw each other in the tag booth, by the way. Oh, that's think, okay if you ain't got it. I think it was the Pro Force. Really? Pretty yep. cool. You're right here at the tactical shelter. Nice. What's your weight on that? Right... In the ballpark, how many square feet? 35 at least, I hope. It probably doesn't say, though, does yep. it? What is that, a Snug Pack? What brand is that? Yeah, Snug Pack. Snug Pack, okay. Cool. You like the color? Did you get that OD? Yeah, absolutely. Trick. And the deal you know, here at the show, 40% off. What? I couldn't pass it. Seriously? Every on all their stuff or just that tent? Everything they own. You go at the Snug Pack. Snug Pack booth because somebody came in and bought the works. They had nothing to sell after the first day. So they're like, everyone gets 40%, everyone gets free shipping. No way. Guys are going to hear this and just yep. roll over going, it was, suck, I wish I was there. I didn't let it go. I went and actually took out extra money. <laughs> At the Snug Pack booth, huh? All right, they make some good gear. I don't know if I'll be able to fit in a booth review. All right, so what do you hate most about? Oh, you already said that, and then like most, it's probably the same answer, huh? Absolutely. I'm just kidding around. You got you, you to pick and choose, take the good with the bad, but there's far more good than, than bad. I appreciate it, and like I always say, my information is not the only information. There's lots of great sources. It's just a data point. Yeah. All right, nice, nice meeting you. Yeah, Thanks for saying hello. Pleasure. TMP are at the SHOT Show. SHOT Show 2011 Net and Fancy in the SOG booth. Was going to do a booth review with them. They got nothing to review. It's all sold. This is Chris, their marketing dude. Hey, hey Chris. everybody, how you doing? We've had a crazy day here. I've sold half of our product here, so I've got nothing to talk about with you guys right now. But <laughs> we'll catch up later and do a full line review. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hook up somehow and yeah. uh, talk about all things Sog and the Net Fancy Project. You know I'm a big fan. Yes, big we appreciate fan. it. Quintessential carry knife, the Sog. Flash series, whether you go one or two, they're outstanding. Yeah, they're awesome. Sog Aegis, I've reviewed. A lot of your fixed blades, giving them exposure. They're just amazing knives. And we've uh, got some cool, hot new stuff uh, for this year. We've got some cool general survival items that are coming out that'll be awesome. Cool. Uh, I just want to let you guys know I tried. I tried with Sog, but they're sold out. <laughs> we've been crazy busy. Crazy busy. <laughs> All right, so quick video, probably the quickest I'll ever post at the SHOT Show. That's Chris with SOG selling all his stuff. Look at the booth over here, how many dudes are there. Busy. Nothing fancy, we tried. UK-based TMP -er, SHOT 2011, what's going on, man? Well, good, man. Just looking around and uh, seeing a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Following the Nothing Fancy project over in the UK? I do, yeah. What's your first name? Nico. Nico, welcome. Thanks nice for watching. All right, I'm asking everybody, what do you hate most about the Nothing Fancy Project? Not enough vids, mate. Not enough vids. <laughs> Ooh, you heard it from him. Not enough videos. I'm trying. I uh, like it. Oh, yeah. And it, to me, it's actually uh, based on the information that I want to get out there. And it's just mounds and mounds of it. There's so much. Doing the best I can. What do you like most about TMP, brother? Your blade review, mate. That's, uh, blades. You know, I'm all about blades. And that's, that's blades. Blade. Yeah. We cannot carry anything else with blades, so uh, that's what I'm wanting. Right on. And hey, check this out, guys. He is actually a European knife dealer, correct? I am, yes. I represent SE in the UK mainly, but I, I cover the whole of Europe. All right, French, no doubt, right? But living in the UK. Absolutely, yes. There's Nico at the SHOT convention. Thanks for saying hello. Appreciate it. Thank you for coming. Just ran into another TMP here in the Caltech booth. What were you saying, dude? I was just, uh, I was just saying that I was looking at the PF9, and I was looking at the mag, the mag release, and yeah. I was remembering the nothing fancy video, and then I look up, and I see him, 
doing the uh, doing the video for the 2011 shot show. It's like no way, man. I don't think it's. I don't know what the word is. It's not irony, but it's something. Yeah, it's just fate, man. It was meant to be. But I've been a sub now for not too, not uh, maybe two weeks. Thank been you. Been watching your videos off and on you. for about a year, running into them. Yeah. And uh, now I'm a. Uh, Thanks, man. I appreciate I've never it. Never in the knives before, but uh, I've been to this shot show. Welcome to the addiction. Yeah, I've been here like five years, and this is Sick. the uh, no, it's fourth time. And it's the first time I'm looking at knives just because of uh, just because I'm not fancy. <laughs> Thank you, man. It's an addiction. I love knives, and the exciting thing is you can get a collection of knives for cheap. Uh, uh, well, depending on what knife you go with, but as opposed to, I don't know, firearms or something like that. Check this out. The whole time we're talking, he can't stop playing with a yeah. PF9. It's, How do you like that color, by the way? I, you know, kind of bore partial to the tan. I'm actually thinking this might be the one. That, yeah. yeah. I love that two-tone. They have a solid one right there, too, dude. Did you see that? Yeah. yeah. I really like that. What do you think of uh, the, the chromed one versus this as far as in a, in a carry mode? Uh, where do you live? North Dakota. Dude, I, I I know North Dakota well. I think you'd be fine with that for corrosion resistance. Yeah. If you want absolute corrosion resistance, go with the hard chrome slide. You know, and then you won't have to worry about it. But I, I really don't think you're gonna have any rust problem for that. No, uh, now I'm just trying to decide on the mat whether to have the uh, the grip here or not. There's yeah, one, there's one over there. Yeah. There's I, one over I think there the PF9 it. mostly has that. Are you talking about the flat base as yeah. opposed to the finger? Yeah, it's getting the pinky in the way. Yeah, I go as flat and as compact as I possibly can on my carry guns since the POU is max concealment. You want to, and that's why I love the PF9 so much is that it is such a comfortable gun. It's a gun you're going to have on your person. I don't know when, let's say, Tucson happens again. Um, have your gun on your on your person when something kicks off. Yep. And be ready to rock and roll if you have to. Uh, you can give a plug with who you're what, with if you want, dude. I'm with uh, Twilight Labs. It's my business. We're polymer consultants. We've got clients here. All right, excellent. What do you hate most about the Net and Fancy project? Oh, well, that's a, what do I hate most? Where do you about start, that? right? No. Um, Check out Chad over here, dude. And he's not even posing for any camera. He was just normally like that. That's Chad from Keltec. That's hilarious. Well, I'm not going to answer that. I'll say what I like the best. All right, which fair is enough. Ridiculous uh, Maven uh, abilities you've got to um, describe a product for a half an hour that I wouldn't have thought would be interesting in 30 seconds. <laughs> and I mean, talking about some knife for a half an hour, like, what, what the hell would somebody want to watch that for? And then I, you know, click on it and they're like, oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Oh, that's why that's there. And the, and the, the, the depth of knowledge and the enthusiasm they have. Yeah. I mean, you're a Maven. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. A lot of philosophy gets rolled in that video, yep. and it's just my point of view. That's all it is. A little more civilian sheepdog stuff would be cool. Awesome. Um, I appreciate the input. You know, the, you've got to balance how much WROL uh, stuff you want. And I'm really careful, honestly, yeah. dude, how I'm throwing that WROL ROL stuff yeah, out there because the project's so big now. Yeah. i got to be careful what I say and make sure I don't excite people unnecessarily. Yeah, you just got to make sure that it doesn't become the concentration, but that's always good stuff. Too. Yeah, yeah. It's an underlying theme. But it's just the way it is. Coming. Caltech, you know, high value. Hey, babe. And, and they're fun in the... Uh, the 308, I want to hear about how that forward ejector is working. Yeah, yeah. Um, whether that's reliable, but I really want one. Chad those. just laid down some really cool data points over there about the RFB and how it's been shooting like crazy. Check them out, man. <laughs> so funny. He did a great booth review. Uh, uh, anyways, I'm hearing good things, and uh, they just had one of their users, just a high volume user, th send back an RFP, and it's doing great, I guess. I need one, and then that. Uh, I like that. I that need shotgun? one. What's that shotgun called? Oh, that shotgun? I forget the name of it. Uh, the price. Yeah. ASG. KSG. No, that's price, there you go. That's price right. That's going to have to be added this year, too. Yeah, 880 or something like that. So it's up there in price, so got, but street will be a lower. I got three Caltechs on my list, and I've never owned a Caltech before, and it's, yeah. uh, it's because I'm not fancy. Thanks, man. Are you happy with them, though? Well, I haven't. I oh, you're, you're looking at them. I literally just saw the, the reviews on the PF9. Oh, cool. Uh, about a month ago. Yeah, uh, you know, Made run it. I'm not going to say it's perfect. There's no gun that's perfect, nor I will, will I say that it will never jam on you. I'll tell you, I've shot four of them extensively, and they've done very, very well in, in TNP. I wish you the best of luck. And the most important thing is it's a comfortable gun you're going to carry once again. There I go again, hitting it. Obligation of carry. There's a TMP here. That was a good discussion. Keep Todd. it up, Lieutenant Colonel. Thanks, Love man. Work. Appreciate it. So thanks for saying hello. Out. Yeah, My yeah. kids always say, no more nut and fancy videos for you. So, the kids or the wife says the that? The kids say that. Why? Because I always tell my wife no Facebook. 
Yeah. So she says, no more nothing fancy videos <laughs> for you. So. Yeah, check out this dude, man. What's this say right here? Uh, metal metal Musher? Me metal Militia. Metal Militia. Yep. This is another TMP here. Yep. Great guy. We've been having fun off camera. Keltec booth. And you were the one that turned me on to the Keltecs. That's what I was telling uh, whatever that guy's name was. Yeah, Brad you tell Keltec that. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you turned me on to the PF9, and yeah. uh, I carry it all the time. And How do you like your PF9, dude? I love it. Is Absolutely. that just not the most awesome carry pistol? Yep. Yeah. Amazing. So everything else I had carried was heavy and bulky and like so, you always say if you're not carrying all the time what good is it yeah so coincidentally oh, i'm not carrying right now but <laughs> uh, well yeah, shots weird yeah. because you know the gun show rules the floor rules and yeah. then all the other crap yeah so um yeah i appreciate all the hard work you do thank and, you uh, keep it going yeah right on dude he didn't want to be on camera either man chad Sorry is so about funny that. Yeah. <laughs> too late i couldn't let him not get on I camera know, this guy is such a character he's got to be on camera dude, and i love his, he bought his keltec because of you man i we know owe, it we owe you something. i know it I, sure. hey you guys got an awesome product i just get the word out that's all it is yeah. show him your blade dude chad did a great booth review though by the way look at you it want to see look it come out? yeah right. nice Waveable Emerson. Uh, everything I carry is Emerson. CQC 11. Yep. Plain Edge. I like how you went Plain Edge, dude. Yep. Plain Edge. I like the CQC 8. That's probably my fave. Yeah, a little smaller. Love right? it. How's that knife perform for you? Awesome, except I don't like the grind really. I prefer. Yeah, I was just over telling Ernie. That's I, me. I prefer a regular uh, standard grind, but that's what I feel too on the Emersons. They got kind of a weird grind, bro. They insist it's stronger, but I always burr the edge. Yeah, yeah. All, on every single knife after they send it back month into it that just burned that so. sucks yep. uh we did booth reviews with benchmade spider co kershaw and i'll tell you kershaw has an impressive lineup really? for 2011 we're talking price points they got an auto knife 7,000, which for whatever reason i missed it huh. sick it's like 2.5 ounces wicked fast what awesome. do you what do you hate most about the nut and fancy project uh, Check out that uh, shirt. I don't really know. I, I like everything about it. All right. So, yeah, I don't, I don't have anything. Maybe you put out so many videos, I can't even keep up with work and everything else I have going. So, but that's the not backlog. even a complaint, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, literally, I have like videos. I'm like, oh damn, I forgot this video. <laughs> so, yeah, it's awesome though. Cool. What do you like best then? I, I love the run and gun, uh, the philosophy of use videos. I like it all, man. Appreciate so, I have that. my kids watch it. So. It is a family show. It is. It is so. a family show. Yeah. We'll show a cute girl here and there. But that's a family show, man. That ain't Absolutely. no thing. That ain't no thing. <laughs> they don't think roll a pretty girl in front of the camera. Uh, Doesn't mean it's still not a family show. Yeah. You know, variety shows did that in the 70s. We're just doing it now, the Nut and Fancy Project. Yeah. Check that out. This guy's a character. You rock. Thanks, Thanks for saying hello. You too. And more importantly, thank you for being part of the Nut and Fancy Project. Thank you. You guys have seen a great cross section here at Shot 2011 of these guys of who is the audience. What more can I say? Yep, I appreciate it. Keep it coming. Right on, brother. All right, just came out of talking with Tom Knapp, CZ USA, and the Nut Fancy Project. Again, as always, running into some awesome TMPers. Here's Tim with a charging elephant in the background. What's up, dude? Hey, how are you? Good. Thank you for saying hello. Good to see you. Glad I caught up with you. Well, I'm glad you did, too. Uh, you were patiently waiting as I got done talking to Tom. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks so much for saying hello. What's going on? I uh, just checking out this show. It's huge. It's huge, it's, man. It's so hard. I've been trying to find the Maxpedition booth, and I still can't find it. <laughs> Dude, I get lost all the time. Seriously, I'm breaking out this map. Look at my map at this stage. The shot show is about to end. A couple more hours to go. Oh, That's my map. I spend more time running around looking for the places than I do at the places. Dude, this place is gigantic. Gigantic. Look at my little markings here. That's all the places I want to go. Some places I was like, I got to go there. If nothing else gets picked, I don't even know if I can do it. Thanks for being a part of TMP. What do you, uh, you know I, this is coming, I told him off camera, what do you hate most about TMP? The, the thing I hate most is hearing my wife complain that I'm watching YouTube and buying more stuff. <laughs> Every time a, re oh, a yeah. review comes out, I'm like looking to buy something, she knows. <laughs> and, she's, and when the wives hear my voice, it's like automatic, it's like grading, it's like sandpaper to them. Yeah. Oh, my husband's getting ready to spend some more money. I, I gotta use it on my iPhone, you know. I can hear it. <laughs> She knows what I'm on the computer, so I use the iPhone. Right on. Who are you here with? And feel free to give a plug if you'd like. To the Actually, world, uh, baby. The company I work for, we run the NRA's Wine Club. Really? So Didn't that, know they had one. Yeah, actually, yeah. Big, great partner. NRA's an awesome partner for us. Look at that. NRA Wine Club. Anything associated with NRA, I support. Yeah. There you yeah. go. NRA's dead, awesome. Dead, dead serious on that. I love the NRA. If it wasn't for the NRA, we would have so many more gun laws. It wouldn't even be funny. In fact, 
I would hazard a guess this gun show would not, uh, this shot show would not be what it is today without the NRA. Yeah. Making it possible. Great, great partner. Great partner. It's great for me, you know, our business is not inside the firearms industry, but as a shooting enthusiast, I love it. Yeah. So I get to come here, I go to the NRA annual meeting. There's, a, there's all kinds of people running the floor yeah. here that they're, they're like, they got their contact here, their contact there, yeah. trying to get into the SHOT Show. Anybody into tactical or hunting, or for that matter, charging elephants, wants to come to SHOT Show. Yeah, I'm trying to get to the sledgehammer. Sledgehammer, baby! I sent you a message. Did you? Yeah. Along with all the other thousand I know, I get per week. Get it's a million, insane, dude. probably get a million requests it's insane. and a million messages. It's insane. You think you could run the sledge, bro? I'd love to try. All right, what's your setup? Tell me. You show up to the sledge, are you tactically squared away? We've got a lot of stuff. Me and my buddies, I have a good friend. A lot that's, of stuff don't a... cut it, bro. you got to have a tactical carbine, decided in, ready to go, and a system oh, that no, works. Yeah, we, we've got weapons. All right. Lots of weapons. Yeah, have you shot them? Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. All right, We've you have everything. a sense of confidence when you answer that. So We've got 50 cal sniper rifles down to 5.56 five, to 22 tactics. You got tactics. some stuff is what you're telling me. You got, you got some stuff. Probably 150 rifles. Where are you? Uh, I see your tag. You're in Virginia then? No, no, I'm actually in California. Cali? Yeah. Dude, I'm sorry. So Cal. Yeah. So sorry. Go check out those California legal uh, AK variants that Arsenal's got. Officials. They finally came out with really? some, so whatever. You know, they're not as cool as the other ones, but they're something. What do you like most about TMP, yo? Uh, just awesome content, really Thank well you. produced. Thank you. Uh, took me a while to figure out how you got those 45 minute videos in there. <laughs> Uh, and I, like I've told some other guys, I don't talk just to talk. It's subject driven, dude. Yeah. It's like a lady's dress. Long enough to Truth. cover the subject, yeah. short enough to be interesting. Truth and review, too. Truth, baby. Which is great. And if I'm excited about something, it's genuine excitement. It's yeah. not that I'm getting anything out of it except as a user, I like that item. Yeah. Whatever it is. Yeah. Not yet. No, it's great. Yeah, I don't great know why channel. I chose that backdrop. It's just kind of cool. How long have you been on YouTube? All right. I started my YouTube page in 2006. I didn't start posting for the Net and Fancy project until May of 2008. Wow. So everyone looks at 2006 as my start date. Actually, it was actually May of 2008. And you're over 100,000 subscribers now? Yeah, whatever. It's like 115 last time I checked or something. Uh, probably a lot more than that, about twice that number to dial in per day to see what's going down. That's awesome. Yeah, brother. Yeah. Thanks for saying hello. Awesome resource. That's Tim. I Thanks, appreciate buddy. it. I'm trying. Yeah. We're having fun, awesome. too. If it's awesome not fun, resource. why do it? There you go. Another great TMP here. Signing off, Shock Let Show. Let us come out and run with you guys. All right. We'll look at that. We'll look at it. We'll look at it. We'll bring you all kinds of cool stuff. <laughs> Just ran into another cool TMP here in the SIG booth. How you doing, man? Good. How are you? Good. What's your name? Hank. Hank. Thanks for saying hello. We've been talking to TMPers here at SHOT 2011. What do you, uh, first off, hate most about the Net Fancy Project? As long as you guys are running, you know, you guys just don't do enough. <laughs> I got to do more. Yes. Got to do more. I'm yeah. trying. Yeah. It's a small time funnel. I'm pushing everything everything through. How about best? What do you like most about TMP? No BS. Amen, brother. Yeah, you just say whatever you want to say, what you think. Yeah. And it's not it's not a uh, it's not a committee vote either in TMP. And as soon as you get a bunch of people weighing in, I mean, I have my crew members and I value their opinions. I use them for data points. That's cool. When it comes right down to it, it's uh, it's just one opinion getting spit out and it's yes. clean and pure. Totally. And, I like that. And, yeah. And I love my manufacturers, Ruger, SIG. I love these guys. They're awesome. They awesome. sure don't own the Nun Fancy Project. And you've seen me roll in a, not, a lot of negative stuff against them when I think something's jacked up. Yeah. You know, uh, like the 522 that doesn't, that's not a 522, that's a 556. But like the 522 that doesn't come with a front sight set for a tactical 22, that's jacked up. That's not good value, and I say so. That's good. So pretty much I'm, I'll be waiting for your review on the 210. How about that? Oh, I love the SIG 210. Here's my review. It's awesome. Yes. Done. Shortest review ever. It is a second type of cool gun. The reverse uh, frame SIG 210. It's awesome. Love it. Very accurate ergonomics. Just let them get the glass. Oh, it's glass, man. It's glass. I would love to have one. Just to have one. Second type of cool again. You know, as far as combat pistols, uh, you know, got to be real. The new SIG line. You know, well, not the new, but the you know the other generations of SIG dominate. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Are you looking at buying a SIG soon? I have some actually. You do? Yeah. Awesome. So, well done. You, you've chosen more. well. You know I'm a big SIG fan. Yeah, I actually look at your... Speak loud, brother. I actually look at your um, 
tabletop review. That's how I get mine. You did? I really? Did. When I did Warrior Excellence on the SIG 226? Yes. And you went out and said, you know what? I'm going to go buy one. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Too. Yeah. I get that a lot. I yes. get a lot. And that's actually what opens up doors for me at the manufacturers. They come through and they hear from Net and Fancy fans around the world, not just mm -hmm. in the U.S. And, uh, you know, they'll open up the door like, hey, thanks for what you do and come on in. We're, we're, you know, we're all ears. Yeah. That's cool. Thanks for saying hello. Thank you. Appreciate you. Another great TMP or SHOT Show 2011. Right. SHOT Show 2011 coming to an end. Did a nice booth review with Victorinox. I hope it's nice. Don't know until I get to post-production. As usual, I'm pretty unhappy with the amount of reviews I did here at SHOT Show. I did the best I could. Sorry if you didn't like them. Hey, check this out. Just met another awesome TMP here. How's it going, buddy? Good. How are you, man? Thanks for saying hello. Yeah. All right. How long have you been watching TMP? Oh, God. Um, are you I'm one of my saying, originals? You go, like, way back? Yeah. This is like I've ran Amazon. into some. This is like Amazon.com. Serious? Yeah. Are you when kidding was, me? All the way back was, to Amazon days? Yeah. When I was uh, searching for the knife, I can't recall what it yeah, was. Yeah, the Sock Flash 1. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I posted made, that on Amazon. The, you made me buy that on, on You're uh, welcome. Amazon.com. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what do I have with me yeah. today? Let me check. Let me check if I have it. Speak what? of the devil, <laughs> nice. dude. Was this set up at all on any no, level? No. Complete coincidence. <laughs> uh, it's Not a funny. SOG day for me. So I've got the SOG Aegis as my tactical blade. Nice. Okay, there you go. And then the Flash one is my EDC blade. Yes. Yeah, I carry multiple blades. Sure. Multiple blades. We got some more TMP ears over here got in the it, wings. Uh, what do you hate most about TMP? The knife. Oh, addiction. well, you know what? <laughs> um, the knife? The uh, knife addiction. bug? The, the knife, knife addiction. addiction. Yeah. There's another TMP. Yeah. Thank you for being on <laughs> nice the video. <laughs> he wasn't so sure. He's like, ah, I don't know. I was like, dude, just, just come on camera. It. Just we do got, it. We did get a free spider coat. Did you? Which one? The honeybee or? Honeybee. honeybee. Those are great little knives. I reviewed that knife. Yeah. Do you have a honeybee? I got one in my bag. No way. Yeah. You scored it. <laughs> yeah, Nicely I did. Nicely done, dude. Yeah. Right on. Yeah, yeah, the knife them. addiction. I'm with it. Yeah, we just ordered way too much money from Spider Co. We got like... They got some cool blades. <laughs> yeah, we got... Some cool 2011 blades. We got the resilience. Oh, yeah. oh my that was god. On the review. Yeah, I just that reviewed that. Of, it's... I'm selling thousands for them with that review. Yeah, we just bought that. Uh, Fred Perrin design. The PPT. The Dragonfly. Yeah. So that's for the girlfriend. Nice. And uh, what else did we get? bunch of junk. Yeah, and I asked what you hate most. You say blade addiction? Good answer. Blade addiction, yeah. yeah, that means money. Money. What I'm hearing when I ask a lot of guys that question, like, my wife hates her voice on the computer because she knows I'm getting ready to spend a lot of money. <laughs> Sorry. They hear the voice. We got some others over here in the wings, maybe, saying hello. Well, I stop Shout and do the interview. Hey, buddy. Nice. We'll get to you in just a sec. Uh, I mean, we stop and this, we have a lot to talk about because we all kind of see things the same way. Absolutely. It's a gear culture. Yeah. It's a real gear culture. Yeah. There's positive and negatives that we're exchanging back and forth, and each video becomes its own review. Yeah. Like the Sock Flash 1, you go there, you're going to see a lot of, a lot of information yeah. on that particular blade. Mm -hmm. All right. And you, you revisited it a couple times, didn't you? I haven't done the Sock Flash 1. Oh, no, Flash I meant the one. Aegis. Uh, the, the Aegis. Uh, the Aegis, I have. I have uh, you know, the Sock Flash 1 is such a touchstone knife that I rolled it into a lot of videos and yeah. said, hey, let's not forget about this one. Yeah. When you talk about a 1.2 ounce knife, yeah. the Sock Flash 1, I don't want you guys to forget about awesome. it. Awesome. And it might mean that you spend a little bit of money while yeah. you do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. So I guess we're kind of answering the other question. What do you like most about TMP? Did you well, answer it? You know what? I, I didn't answer what I what I hated most about it. Was Go. That it makes me buy a whole bunch of shit. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sorry yeah. for. The, oh, the, the, I don't care. The, whatever. whatever. Um, and uh, what I like most about it is that uh, I buy a whole bunch of good stuff. Cool. <laughs> cool. So that I'm not buying a bunch of bad right. stuff. You know, I'm buying I'm I'm buying some quality stuff. And uh, yeah, the rudder of the project is what I like. Sorry that I don't deviate from that. If something does not excite me, you're gonna hear about it, dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where do you live? Conroe, Texas. Conroe, Texas. Yeah, Texas boy. Yeah. How was your shot show? Good. Blast. Right on. What do you hate most about TNP? Uh, my empty wallet. <laughs> okay. And what do you like most? Gear reviews, chance to get gear to hear reviews. what somebody else's opinion is on something, but I can't necessarily put my hands on it. So. Okay, and that's all it is. It's an opinion, it's a data point, my data point. I make it as righteous as I can. I appreciate the reviews. Thank Keep you, man. Up. I appreciate you. Thank you for being a Thanks part. A Thanks for stopping and saying hello. 
All right, man, two awesome TMPers. Did I ask you the other side what you like most? I like being able to hear somebody else's perspective on something. Yeah. Before you go out and spend your money on something, it's nice to, yeah. well, I did this with this, and I liked it because it did this or did that. It gives you a little bit more. Something to go talk on. to the person that's selling it, of course, it's the best thing that they've yeah. ever seen. Yeah, I get that a lot in shot. I'll start a booth review. They start going down the party line like they do with a lot of other media sources that roll into SHOT Show. They throw a camera on them, and all they do is let the guy spout their party line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't like that. To me, that's not interesting as a viewer. I want to give and take, and if I have some negative things to say, to you're going to hear it. And, nope. and it takes them by surprise. No, you? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Because it blows them away, dude. Because yeah. you know, I'm in a booth review and I'm like, well, that kind of sucks. And they're like, uh, uh, uh what? I, I have to do that. a retake. I love that because then they're like, uh, 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 uh yeah, we're, we're looking well, at that, you know. Yeah. I like that because you just, That's you're right. like, hey, man, this is what I don't like about it. And yeah, it's not it like, oh, you know, I'm just gushing about the product. Yeah. Which sometimes it is, you know, just sometimes a gush about it. Is it. But that you know way. what? Sometimes the products just mean Sometimes what we it out like, and out sucks. You know? Yeah. yeah, and I did a booth review with Condor Tactical, the Chinese nylon manufacturer. Yes. They do good stuff, but I guess what? I, I slammed them on some things. I'm saying, yeah. listen, this is jacked up, this is jacked, well, jacked up. They listened. They're glad to hear it. And the reason they're glad to hear it because you guys. They hear from you guys. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Great team appears in the house. Shot Show 2011. It ends in like 20 minutes. Yeah, seriously. Did you guys have a good show then? Yeah. Fun yep. times? Good show. Love yeah. Fun. Every day. Yeah, every whole, day. The whole day, every day. Yep. We're like oh, kids in a candy me. store. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, but who was it? Did you ask me, you asked how you have been having fun? When you all asked me. Oh, no. Someone said, hey, you've been having fun? I'm like, no. <laughs> it's too much work. No, because I have a feeling of inadequacy here at Shot. I'm always like going, you know, I wish I could have gone to that place, gone to that place. Know. You know, and I try to make it work. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. I do my best. All right, guys. Thanks so much nice for saying you. hello. Thanks Appreciate it. Awesome team yep. peers. Thanks, man. You'll see yourself on the small screen, not the oh, big man. screen. I dread it now. Whatever. <laughs> this guy's a law enforcement officer, by the way. I can say that much. But notice how his flipped over backwards? That's about all I can say. We get a lot of that. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Out. Nothing fancy shot show 2011. We're at the Kershaw booth. This is Jennifer. Nothing fancy, baby. Thank you so much for saying hello. Yeah, it wasn't super high traction. It was okay. Medium traction, but this is much better. These are actually locking your thumb.